Vanessa, how are you feeling right now? Excited. Deb, this is Deborah, by the way. Deborah's actually going to cut her hair. Uh, what, how come you get the honors of cutting the hair? Well then, how are you a professional? When I mean professional, I mean are you a professional hairdresser? I used to. So you know what you're doing. She's in good hands. All right. And how long will the hair be that you're cutting off? Do you have any idea? About three feet. <laughs> How's the prince going to get up the tower? Open the door. That is one in every crowd, isn't there, Melissa? So, uh, 2007, so five years. What is life going to be like without what will end up being about uh, probably two feet of hair? I'm going to save a lot of money on shampoo. <laughs> How long does it take you to wash your hair? I couldn't even hazard a guess. It depends on if there's conditioner that day or if I'm straightening it or what. <laughs> that, that is a lot of hair. How often do you actually wear it down? Not often. <laughs> it gets thrown in a messy bun almost every day. <laughs> <laughs> Look, she's negotiating here. <laughs> here it goes. Gets to be a redhead. <laughs> Jeez, that was a pretty good job, Deborah. That actually looks good just like that. She can just go home and it's wash and wear. Like she just stepped out of a salon. Good job. Well done. A nice round of applause for Melissa. That was an incredible commitment. Five years of hair growing. And then tell me, uh, what's your plan now? It'll be long enough in two years, and me and my friend Katie are going to do it all over again for breast cancer. Oh. How about it? I love it. There should be more young people in the world like you. Good for you. That's outstanding.